My name is Lynn Chappé and I'm the Senior Director of Human Resources and Organizational Development for the Vermeer Corporation located here in Pella, Iowa. It's certainly global in many ways. Uh, we have uh, uh, stretched ourselves into uh, Europe as well as Asia. In fact, I'm going on a trip to China next week. And then we also have a, uh, another part of our company located here in the U.S. On the Pella campus, we have seven plants, uh, all uh, uh, really producing uh, ag and industrial products, uh, about 100 plus here in Pella. Uh, we have 2,000, a little over 2,000 employees, and we're in a steep growth mode. And when I say that, I'm not talking about a, a typical ramp up. I'm talking about a very steep ramp up that includes uh, hiring people locally here in Pella as well as around the world. Uh, we do a lot of export, uh, but the jobs are abundant here uh, at a time when, uh, when unemployment is high. So the importance of, of getting skilled labor as well as credentialed uh, uh, workforce is highly important. You know, uh, as, I, as I prepare our uh, company to receive the new workforce, uh, we're looking at it a little differently than we have in the past. Uh, we need people who not only have a strong work ethic uh, and understand that what the working day is all about, but also bring with them uh, a sense of responsibility uh, in terms of their citizenship within an organization. Uh, we also are looking for skills, and what we've discovered in the current workforce is that something as simple as a basic measurement and the ability to measure uh, on a ruler scale is, is a challenge. And uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that our schools are failing us, but I think we need to work in concert with one another uh, to, to really understand what the skill application is in the, uh, in the work environment. Uh, you know, we're reaching out and working with community colleges and, and uh, like local high schools. Uh, we have high school teachers who come in and actually do an internship with us uh, during the summer months so that we can build that bridge about what happens in the classroom and then what really transpires out on the factory, factory floor. Uh, you know, I'll go back to mentioning the work ethic because I think uh, you know, industry is, uh, is a little more receptive to the flexibility of workforce needs. We also have a huge challenge in generational differences. So I think that teaching our youngsters coming into the workforce how to work with people of different, of different generations is, is an imperative as well, both outside the industry and uh, inside the factory. Uh, those are the major challenges. You can get into what our, how our equipment is changing. Uh, robotics would be a clue. Uh, the, the, the need for people coming in to already have that skill set. Uh, research, critical thinking. Uh, the ability to make a decision in, uh, in a quick fashion or nanosecond and have it grounded on good data. So it's critical thinking skills. And I think that really is, is my view of, uh, of our new employee and, and continued employee. I mean, we're challenged internally uh, in a company like ours with people who have 30 and 35 years of service and are proud of it to skill them up as well. So we work internally in terms of building skills. When, uh, when we hire people into our factory area, we're looking for people with high school education. That's the minimum, minimum requirement. Oftentimes, we associate that inside, uh, inside our industry with the ability to read, do the foundational skills, uh, reading math, and so on. But what we're finding is there's a gap uh, in those skill sets. Uh, the, le the level that we're looking for in the practical application is different. And uh, you know, I don't know what the explanation is for it. I do know that a solution could be that we work closer uh, with the, the school entities. Uh, and, and at Vermeer, we're trying to do that. Uh, I think that early assessments, uh, assessments that take place in the factory versus assessments that take place in education may be somewhat different. And we need to think through that critically uh, ourselves. Um, I, you know, it's, it's interesting because I assumed, uh, this goes back a few years, but I assumed that somebody with a high school education would be able to do uh, foundational math, uh, foundational measurements, uh, English, and so on, and I'm finding out that that's not the case at all. So uh, I think we share this in terms of a challenge uh, in, uh, in education and industry. When I think about our current workforce and, and the transition uh, in terms of crossing the bridge into the reality of industry, one of the major things that we have as part of our branding is innovation. And innovation in the workplace is, is that whole area of cr uh, creative thinking 
uh, thinking outside of the box and what that really means uh, in terms of uh, alternative solutions to solve a problem, uh, problem solving. Uh, whether it's thinking of a new design in engineering or a new way to look at a process uh, within the environment. And we look to our employees for that kind of thinking. Uh, we teach lean manufacturing. Uh, lean manufacturing could be taught in the schools. Uh, it's workforce efficiency, it's quickness of flow, it's, it's pull instead of push. Uh, and I think if they knew that coming in, in terms of this is the way the world works today, it's not only at Vermeer, but it's across industry, uh, that would help everyone. Uh, I think the, the whole practice of lean um, is, is really, um, that encompasses critical thinking, uh, evaluative thought, uh, contribution, what your role is in a particular uh, project, and the importance of fulfilling your role to make the whole process work. All of those are discipline skills. And uh, as we look forward, that's what we're looking for. Uh, it's, you know, when you think about, uh, I think about our expensive training internally, and my preference would be to train up after they cross the threshold, but the basic level foundational training would be done prior to threshold. And so I, I keep saying this over and over again because I have a passion that our, our schools are capable of doing this if they only know what we're looking for. And we're capable of providing insight and, and even uh, at times support uh, in the classroom to bridge the gap between industry and education.